Okay, next we're going to turn to um, David Garibaldi, which is he's a, another favourite of mine. He's most well known for his drumming with the band Tower of Power, which he's, he's still playing with today, but he, he played for a, a long time in the 70s and 80s, and then he took a break for a while, and then he's back with the band again now. Great band, great funk band, and some of the, the grooves that David Garibaldi came up with were outrageous, really, but very, very... Um, distinctive you know you can tell there it's a garibaldi sort of groove because well as you'll notice with this this one is particularly syncopated the track that i'm going to do it do it to uh is doesn't do it justice in, in as much as it was kind of written around um the bass groove as well so uh the track really sort of really evolves around the the groove between the bass and the drums um he's a fantastic player franco rocco prestia is the bass player with the uh Tower of Power for many years anyway. He's not the only bass player that played with them. Um, but him and David Garibaldi knit it together superbly. So this one has a lot of, there's very little that falls on the beat in this groove. So um, the track that I'm playing along with for this one um, has some of the rhythms. It does fit quite well with this too, but it's not quite the same as if you listen to the original, if you just um, do a search on YouTube for um, On the Serious Side, that's the name of this tune. And it comes from an album, the 1975 album called In the Slot by Tower of Power. So on the serious side, you'll get an idea what it uh, really sounds like originally. So uh, hang on, I better just have a little quick check of this. Yeah, so like I say, there's not a lot on the beat. It's very, very syncopated. Two, three, four. <laughs> Very, very syncopated, like I say. So basically, to, to slow it down and do it slow, you've got to think of the actual rhythms are just one E, a two E, a three, and a for the first bar. And then you've got that eighth note rest, and the next bit is on and a, which is where the, the, the open hi-hat comes on the last sixteenth of the bar. So you've got the one E, a two E, a three, and a. And that, that's um, voiced like this. One E, a two E, a three. And a, and a. One e, a two, a three, and a, and a. And that hi hat is supposed to go. It closes, so you can see the closed hi hat on the first beat of the second bar. So it, it's like a little gap in that eighth, eighth note rest, and then you pick up with the. The second bar is probably the slightly more challenging in terms of the coordination involved so you, you're basically starting the second bar on the pickup on the and ah so it goes slowly one uh, three four and ah. so it's that usual problem with grooves where you've got two two limbs lining up and one continuing through to the next note where where there's in this case the right hand continues through on beat uh, the ah of beat two onto beat three so they, they overlap a little bit. And then on the uh, going through from beat three to beat four, you get that sort of thing. Where the bass drum's in line with the first note, but the right hand continues through. So the second bar, two, three, four. And a one, and a two, e, and a three, e, a four, and a. And a one, and a two, e, and a three, e, a four, and a. Yeah, so together. On the serious side, that's called. Uh, 